Judy started a group for women over 50. Many of us had raised a family or cared for a parent and now found ourselves asking the question, what next? Well, Judy answered that question with the founding of the group Babes in Motion. The group was mainly a golf group, but it also included a little tennis and some cards for those of us that stayed here during the winter. She was an energetic, energetic and kind leader that inspired us all to, have, to live out her motto, kindness matters. And I was looking for a golf group and I looked online and I saw this group that's called Babes in Motion and I thought, I could be a babe. I've never been a babe before, so I signed up by the people that she came in contact with. She was a wonderful, loving person, and I will miss her greatly, as everyone will, but she will always be the ultimate babe. I think there was only one thing Judy loved more than golf, and that was her family. One cold day at Avalon, I was going to try to hit my ball onto the green from a slope that led to a water hazard. I lost my footing and my feet got wet. Well, that was it for me. I was done for the day, but Judy wouldn't have that. She saved the day. She was wearing two pairs of socks that day and literally gave me the socks off her feet. Now, when I describe a generous person, I no longer say they would give you the shirt off their back. I say they would give you the socks off their feet. Judy's memory will remain in my heart forever. Left a, a big hole in all of our hearts. We're never going to forget me. She had an amazing impact on my life. Being the fact that I still golf is due to Judy and all the friendships I've made, and um, we're all going to miss her. And um, I miss her every day. Uh, when I came out of the first shop after playing, Judy said, oh, are you a babe? And I said, well, sure, I'm a babe. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> and the next thing you know, I was golfing with the babes. And um, so there's really not enough words to say how much I miss Judy, um, but I do think of her every every day, and I'm so grateful for all she's done, not just for me, but for all these other women. Went over there by chance, and I said, are you the babes? And Judy being Judy, right away, a hug. Yes, I'm Judy, and I'm going to start this group. Judy and I had um, kind of a rule that for playing winter golf, it had to be at least 20, at least sunny, and little wind, if possible. And we'd go out there dressed for skiing, because we just wanted to play. And so we were at the Heritage, and we got over the ridge, and there was snow on the green. And we looked at each other and like, snow angels, that's a no-brainer. And we went down and made snow angels on the green. And I know Judy took pictures of it, but she lost them somehow. But we have that great memory that we shared that day and many days playing golf. I always wanted to play and be with her because she was so encouraging and so kind. And she just always greeted you with a hug and a kiss. And what's going on in your life? How's everybody? And how's Tom, my husband? And lastly, it's going to be hard these last weeks to start my day without Judy because that's how I started every morning. We would play words with friends. We were up early, both of us, and I could look on my phone around any time after 4.30 and there she was. She'd already played and she beat me consistently, but she was such a good player and we had great chats back and forth on that chat call. Even when she was on chemo and she, she kept trying and trying and, and still was um, such a good, good athlete and such a good... We all miss her on the golf course. It's not the same. But we also are thankful for Judy because she all got us out there to play. We formed friendships through her loving kindness of getting everybody... To but the one thing I want to tell you about, which I think is a strange story, is that my daughter developed breast cancer and she had to go through treatments for chemo. And she used to come back and tell me about this woman she met, how they bonded, how they were friends, how they try to sit, do everything together at the same time, uh, just so that it could be together. So one day I walk in uh, to see my daughter doing her chemo and there's a woman sitting next to my daughter. I didn't really pay much attention. I was zeroing in on my daughter and I went to go get a I think my daughter goes to order something. She turns around to my daughter and says, is that John Ganone? 
She goes, yeah, that's my father. She goes, he's my inspector. We've known each other for over 20 years. I find it strange that a woman bonded with the father and the daughter. But then again, it was Judy. She could bond with everybody. She was just a special person. And one's going to be greatly missed. We were going to write a book of our excuses as to why we had a bad shot. And I can remember one time it was Memorial Day weekend and all the planes were coming in to land at the airport. And we said, oh, that's a new one. We're going to put that one down. When we first connected, she gives me this big hug in her usual style. And I had this great big hat on with a big brim uh, that I always wear golfing. And I almost knocked her eye out because we hugged so much that the hat caught her at the top of her face. But we laughed and laughed over that. And the babes in motion that she started and was so instrumental in promoting. And I loved her from and how nice she was to everybody who came to play in that league. We all loved her and miss her. Judy, what a joy. It is hard to say what are the tangible traits of Judy that I most admire and treasure. Her joy in living. She loved life, especially her life, every day. Her kindness. She was kind to everyone she met. She talked to all the people she came into contact with. Everyone mattered. I never once saw her anything but kind, always. Her patience. She was always patient. Sometimes it would take me about 12 strokes on practically every tee at the par 3 course, which is scary. Seriously, and for a long time. And she never made fun of me or gave up. She was so helpful to all of us. Remember, she got lots of us as beginners. I do not know how she did not pull her hair out, managing all of us at different levels. But we all got along so well and all laughed together. What a special group she made of us. We were pretty much all like children playing every time we got together, always finding something to laugh about. Her generosity. She was always giving us ladies stuff for golf, like shirts, gadgets, bowls, markers. She found so many golf outings and courses for us all to play. Even in the winter, she found fun things to do. Her energy was amazing, just like her. Her wisdom. She was so smart but more wise. I like wise. She pretty much had some good advice. We would talk about so many things, rain, clouds, trees, politics, which I must say we did not see eye to eye, but we managed. Her childlike manner. She laughed so easily. I think of her and us as mostly always laughing and having fun. All times we played so childlike, but mostly I think it is her love to be treasured most. She loved us. She was so proud and happy that they belonged to her. Always bragging a little about all of you in such a good way. Judy was like our own little ambassador for God. She lived her life in peace and love and shared herself and all she had with us. I will always remember her love and treasure her friendship. She is awesome. And we really miss her. She loved her husband, Dick. She loved her grandchildren and her children. And she took great pride in all of the people she loved. And she loved so many people. And I'm glad to be one of those people that she loved. I think one day she walked 36 miles. <laughs> I mean, not 36 miles. She wore, seemed like 36 miles, but she walked 36 holes with a, with a pull cart. I was really always impressed. She was just amazing, a wonderful person who got together with all the friends and would talk and she's just fabulous. I will miss her, I miss her now. Like the dragonfly, I always thought Judy chose the light. She was positive, generous, kind, and brave. I had fun with Judy playing golf, tennis, and canasta. Judy, I miss you, but I know that you are keeping that light shining wherever you are. Let the light shine. When I see a dragonfly, I will always think of Judy. 
Judy loved dragonflies. The dragonfly symbolizes free spirit, swiftness, and activity. Judy initiated the babes in motion with the dragonfly as part of our logo. She lived every day to its fullest and valued her family and friendships. She was a sweetheart. When you see a dragonfly or a rainbow, remember Judy. She is with you. A dragonfly has a short lifespan, but lives with no regrets. It inspires us to make every single, make use of every single moment we have. Honor Judy by living your life to its fullest as she did. Be thoughtful, kind, and caring. Judy made a difference in the lives of everyone she touched. Meme, you brought joy to all of us. Whenever we came down to visit you, you had a million fun things lined up for us to do. I remember going to the boardwalk, mini golfing, going to the range, and playing tennis with Leah and Landon. I'm so thankful for all that you did for us to make us happy. I love you. Me, Mom. You gave 100% in everything you did, from being a grandma to being a babe in motion. You had the most care and love I've ever seen in a single person. Our Cape May vacations will always be at the top of my list of cherished memories. I will love and miss you always. We just loved having her in tennis. So the first time we played with her, she was running all, she was getting every single ball there was. And we thought, she, she really is athletic and we need to step it up a little bit here. She's going to play with us. She was just so, such a nice person to play with. Um, I didn't know that she had cancer because let me tell you, that lady could play tennis and she was very aggressive. Uh, you wouldn't know that she was sick. Uh, it wasn't that she told me uh, later on about her illness. Um, she played to win and I think she played life to win. She's going to be missed by a lot of people, including a lot of people at the tennis club. As I got to know Judy more through the years, I realized what a kind and caring person that she always was. And uh, I just feel that uh, all of us are missing her so much. The lady I like to call mom. I love mom's smile. Uh, she was a beautiful woman. Uh, I think about her often and um, I didn't know that there was people like her around, people who, who loved strangers, can make people feel good about themselves. And uh, I remember when I was a kid, I was uh, hit a low in my life. And uh, she, she just filled me up, lifted me up. And she was just the kindest woman I've ever met in my life. Three years ago, I was just headed out for a solo round of golf at Heritage. Judy, who was sitting on a bench chatting, called out to me, hey, are you playing by yourself? And I said, yeah. She said, you should join our group. We play here every Monday and Wednesday. Well, I'm a golf widow on Monday, so this was music to my ears. And I said, mm, because <laughs> I had a bad experience with another group who were very cliquish. Anyway, she said, we're a group called Babes in Motion. You can join online. And I thought to myself, I've heard of you. I just never went online to look for you. So by next Monday, I was a babe on my way to meet Judy for my first round with the group. She welcomed me with open arms, literally. You know, she hugged. She's a hugger. And what a terrific player Judy was. No practice swing, didn't take a practice swing, boom, right down the center of the, the fairway, straight as an arrow, and chatting and laughing the whole time. What a, amazing. She liked to use a club she called her reach club. That was meant a club that she wasn't sure she could reach the green with, but she was going to try, and she keep trying. And she called it her reach club. And I thought afterward, I tried to reach club, failed miserably. But every time I get to that hole on Heritage, I think, reach club. Don't take the one you know is going to do it for you. 
So I thought, what what a way to live your life, to take a chance on something different that you don't know if it's going to work or not. For now, Judy, see you on the back nine. I love it. She was a true gift in my life, and I will always treasure that. We are parents of AJ Fucci, who was, uh, is Landon's good friend. And um, AJ and Landon spent a lot of time with me, Mom. And AJ wrote uh, this note. Me, Mom meant so much to me. And if I had never met her, I wouldn't be where I am today. I met her through my friend Landon, and she did everything with us. She took us out to eat and played golf with us. The one thing I'm most thankful for is her getting me into tennis. I had never thought of playing tennis before, but as soon as me mom had me try, I was hooked. Landon and I had a blast playing tennis at One Love Clinic. Those were some of the funnest summers of my life. I am so sad to see me mom go, and I'm going to miss her <laughs> so much. AJ. So obviously, um, Landon's grandma uh, meant a lot to AJ and to our family. And uh, she also got him into bike riding. So, um, so we're grateful for that. So we're certainly, for I don't that. play tennis. Judy was a very good person and uh, very generous. And we always she be in my heart. But she lived her life with such a wan, daring, caring, and zest that it seems like she must have lived twice as much. <laughs>